Round three of the European Le Mans series in 2024 brings us to a very sunny Imola circuit in Emilia-Romagna. Temperatures of 33 degrees Celsius, but that didn't stop Hiroshi Hamaguchi in the number 63 Iron Lynx Lamborghini from setting the third fastest time in LMGT3. It was a close fight then for the pole position between Derek de Boer in the racing spirit of Le Mans Aston Martin, by far the 59 car's best run of the season so far. But you cannot stop the Belgian racer Sarah Bovey. She'd already taken two pole positions this season. And despite this two month break and a nasty injury at Spa not too long ago, the 85 Porsche back in the mix again to try and get some useful championship points. Sarah Bovey on pole in the GTs and the Iron Dames were very, very happy with that. <laughs> Onward we would go with the LMP3 15 minute qualifying session, no let up in the temperatures and the early pace was set by Gael Julien after his great performance last time out at Le Castellet taking pole there, but it was a third position on the grid for RLR M Sport despite that good run across the line for the British crew. It's all about the Duquesnes though, there's only two in the entry but the first of those driven by Colombian racer Oscar Tuño after some good results earlier on in the year, the number 12 car finishing second for Wockenspiegel Team Monschau but for the same manufacturer and a first pole position for DKR Engineering since Spa 2021, American racer Wyatt Brickacek in the number 4 car doing the business and getting the pole time in the LMP3 category. It's been a long wait for them to get to pole position, but finally they do it here at Imola. LMP2 Pro-Ams next, and these are the driver combinations that include the bronze, who must do the qualifying session. And it's Francois Perodo in the number 83 AF Corsa car that set some really good times to take him to third position on the grid. They've already taken a race win this year at Barcelona. Then Rodrigo Sales, despite the odd mistake here and there, and he was locking up into Rivazza, but then he got the clean lap in the number 29, Richard Mille by TDS car to take that to the front row. But similar to Sarah Bovey, Giorgio Roda has had a terrific run, particularly in qualifying on Saturday in the European Le Mans series, and he brings the Proton competition car to the front. It is three from three from the Italian at his home race. Then the scene was set for the final 15-minute qualifying session for the LMP2s, the two inter-Europol competition cars leaving together. But Filip Drugovic, who has had some qualifying sessions to forget to this point, never been in the top six, for example, but it's a third-place start for Vector Sport, the team from the UK and Brazilian racer Drugovic. Alex Lynn was so close to taking pole position, electric through all three of the sectors for Algarve Pro Racing. But the 25 has to make do with a second place start because he didn't count on young Frenchman Charles Milesi in the 65 Panis racing car. He had something up his sleeve late on in the session and just before the chequered flag came out, Charles Milesi bags the pole position, a third different name from three races to start from the front of the European Le Mans series grid. Paris so happy with pole for tomorrow's race.